Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And before I say anything else in this video, I want to say thank you for the, the comments and the concerns they have for my the issues I'm dealing with right now. My sciatic nerve is really, uh, really, uh, what do you call it, flamed up or something, and uh, making it very difficult for me to get around. My legs hurt, so, or my right leg hurts so much. So I want to say thank you for that, for your concern and uh, your comments. And one of the things I uh, have been doing lately is I have been using the cane that I carved when I was 17 years old. And uh, how that went about was uh, I didn't have a summer job, and so I'm sitting on the back porch. Uh, this was between my uh, junior and senior years, and we had a four-foot uh, cyclone fence between our backyard and a wooded area. And I was sitting there and looked out there, and there was this tree that had a, a branch coming out that came out about, oh, I don't know, maybe a foot or two, and then immediately made a right-hand turn straight up. And I looked at that, and I thought, well, I can make a cane out of that. So <clears throat> I cut it out of the tree, brought it home, and I uh, started carving on it. And uh, then it, that took several hours, of course, and then I varnished it. And I had it all those years. And then when uh, I uh, got uh, in 1982, when I crashed on my motorcycle <laughs> and broke my leg, uh, I ended up having to use that cane for about seven years until my, my leg got totally healed. And uh, then, I don't know why it took so long, but it sure made a difference having that cane. So that's what I've been using, and uh, so uh, that catches us up on that. Now, I'm in the next several videos, I'm going to uh, do a series of uh, audio <laughs> uh, stories about my exciting landings that I had as a pilot when I had my Cessna 150, and then I sold it and got a Cessna 170. And uh, so <clears throat> in the meantime, I had several exciting landings. And the very first one was, see, when you uh, study to get your pilot license and you go up with the instructor, when he thinks you're good enough to be able to fly the plane alone, then he'll um, uh, make, have you do three uh, stop-and-go landings. You'll take off, come around, take off, come around, and land each time. And uh, and then if you do okay, well, then you, you're considered a student pilot, and you can go off flying by yourself. Uh, so anyway, um, so uh, he uh, I, he stood to the side of the, air, of the uh, runway and motioned me on, and I, he got out of the plane, motioned me on, and I took off. And I went, you know, you come up and you go, you climb out, and then you make a left turn, and then you make another left turn, you're headed downwind, as they call it. So you get down to the other end of the runway, and then you make a left turn, and that's called left base. And then finally you turn what's on final, and now you're headed up, lined up with the runway. And so that was fine, except that I, uh, I, I didn't pre-consider the fact that uh, it's a two-person two plane, and so when we're both in there, it weighs almost uh, uh, twice as much as the as it does with just one person. At least it's a lot heavier. And so here I was, way too high to land uh, on the runway. And so he had taught me how to do a slip. A slip is where you you bank either which way uh, with your ailerons, and then you give it right, uh, like if you turn left, then you give it right rudder, and that keeps it from turning and actually uh, going the way the airplane wants to. And then you slip into the you uh, slip into the uh, uh, into air and you get down to the ground really fast. And so that's how you lose altitude really fast when you want to lose uh, lose altitude. So uh, so he had taught me to do that. And so I did the slip and I came in and I landed and everything was fine. And uh, he thought I did a pretty good job. He used to think he <laughs> he used to swear he would say, "Damn you, good," <laughs> when I would uh, do things because it was kind of a natural thing for me. So anyway, that was the, the first exciting landing that I had. The second exciting landing, I'll try to get it in here. I think I've got five minutes left. Uh, second exciting landing was we, it, when I was a student pilot, and then we, I, uh, I was, when you, when you are okay to solo, then you go fly by yourself. And so, but he wanted to uh, get, teach me uh, some night flying. So I met him at the airport after, uh, after, uh, dark. And then, uh, we got the plane all, uh, ready to go pre-flight and all that. 
and uh, we got in. Now with a with a uh, airplane engine, uh, they the it's, how, it's called an updraft carburetor. In other words, it's pointing down at the ground, and uh, and then uh, uh, instead of on top like in a car or something. So um, he he uh, we we got everything ready, started up the engine, and of course in the process you prime that engine. In other words, you pump a little bit of extra gas into the carburetor so it'll uh, so it'll start up easily. Well, we put I guess we put in too much because as soon as we uh, turn the wheel over uh, or t- turn the engine over, uh, we could see that there was a, fl- a flame under the plane. And so he, he said, just keep cranking on it, you know, that keeps the flame uh, inside headed towards the carburetor. And so he jumped out and ran over and got an air, air uh, extinguisher, and he put out the flame, and so uh, that was okay. So anyway, we just planned on doing it another night. And the next day I went out, and of course I wanted to fly every day for a while there. So the next day I went out and took off and flew around, and there was this park uh, as you approached the runway on landing, uh, there was this park that was about 100 feet below the airstrip. And as I came over that park, uh, you know, you, you when you land, you just pull the throttle all the way back and just kind of start losing uh, losing altitude the way you, uh, for as much as you need to. So anyway, as, uh, <laughs> as uh, I pulled the throttle back, well, the engine died. And the funny thing is when that prop popped up in front of me, and just stopped. I at first I thought the kids were playing in the park and somebody threw something up or something. But anyway, that wasn't it. That was the prop and the engine had died. So very quickly I uh, <laughs> I gave it a lot of throttle and cranked it over and it and fortunately it just started right up and uh, I got it going again. And so then uh, I was able to uh, make the runway. I would not have been able to make the runway uh, with a glide because. Um, I just wasn't that close, and I would have ended up going, uh, well, I wouldn't go into the park. I'd go into the hill between the park and the airstrip. So anyway, um, that's what, uh, that was an exciting landing. I got it started, and I made my normal landing, and uh, everything was was uh, okay. And uh, I don't think I have enough time to tell any more stories about landings this time, but I do have some exciting ones about other things that happened, even while I was uh a uh, uh, student pilot. So uh, looks like I'm there. I'm standing down below there, and uh, we're coming in. And uh, the uh, you can see that there. I've made a new landing pad. I call it my my uh, McDonald's landing pad because of the colors. All I had was some. I had some yellow spray paint and some red tape, and I had this piece of plexiglass that I've had for years. Because all the other landing pads that I've made so far. Uh, they get damp and they get they get warped. If you spray uh, spray cardboard uh, <laughs> uh, just on one side, well then it gets it gets warped. So I just needed something out here so when I'm not going anywhere, I can just bring out the landing pad. So uh, and you can see I'm coming down and uh, going to come right down. Actually, I'm going to have a hard time. I'm probably going to miss it before I get down because it is it's it's. It's, uh, this is another exciting landing. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's wide, but it's not very deep. So anyway, uh, I'll have more stories to come about exciting landings. So be sure to watch the next video that I put up. And uh, most of it's going to be construction and then uh, uh, pictures of construction. And then um, the, uh, uh, and the audio to go with it will be a story. So I want to thank you for watching my videos. And as I come home to land, God bless.